Hey, what's up, guys? Today I have a review on the Case Logic DVB 200. Um, this binder will hold about 92 movie sets. And I'll tell you what that is a little bit later on. So, first, I want to talk to you about the build quality of this binder. It's made out of some sort of fake leather material. It's actually pretty strong, a lot better than I was expecting <laughs> for 30 bucks. Anyways, uh, it's got a lot of double stitching to give it some extra strength. It's a pretty thick case here. You can see my hand on the top on the side of the side of it. Um, it's seven inches across. It's got a nice big rugged thick handle here. And when it's fully loaded, it weighs about eight pounds. So not as bad as you think. It is also a zipped binder, so you don't have to worry about anything falling out. Now this only holds 92 movie sets. I have a thousand movies. Now there's a mix of Blu-rays, DVDs, and TV series. To put this into perspective, I have about a thousand of these. It takes up a lot of valuable space. I did some research and I found out that this system was probably the most logical way to go because, well, I can fit about a hundred movies in one binder. So I'll show you the inside of it and I'll show you how I organize them. Sucker up here. So, as you can see, I already got this all full. All kinds of good movies. This is only just 90 movies out of a thousand. <laughs> so, to put this into your perspective, I need to fill about 10 of these books. It takes me about three hours to do all, all this. It's a lot of work, but it's going to be worth it. Over here you have a 16 slots here to put whatever you want. I didn't just put a, uh, a fireplace DVD that I don't really use. Each page, each sleeve has two slots for cover art or line, liner notes. So basically what I ended up doing was I took, um, for example, I took this out, the, the cover art. And I just cut this right off. I tried folding it. I tried folding this, this side and this side, but it still will not fit. And it's just, it's just a, it was taking too long. So I just took a scissors and snipped it right off. So basically, on the other side of the cover art side, you have four slots. Well, each movie, each movie gets two slots. One, this bottom slot is for your main film, and the top slot here. Is for like your bonus discs. Now, if your movie comes with three discs, put it over here in one of these slots, or you can shove it in behind the, the cover art slot here. Now, for a lot of older DVDs, they came uh, with like a, a a cardboard type cover. For for example, like just like this movie, Three Thousand Miles of Graceland, it's a cardboard. And what I did, I just cut it and I trimmed it enough so it would fit in, in, in here. It, it, it works. I really like this. It's, it's very visual appealing. And instead of, seeing the, instead of seeing the spline, you see the whole front cover art. And I think that's a lot more fun to look at. I'm sure you are wondering, how do I find a movie in a system like this? Well, I'm going to show you using a program called Collector Z. This is the program I use. This is uh, Collector Z. And using a C on the, on the column here of location, I have each movie listed in what binder they are and what page they are on. So for example, two movies will fit on one page. So uh, for example, like another uh, 48 hours movies and the sixth day is on page one. You don't have to use Collector Z. You can use a spreadsheet software like like um, Excel or even uh, Google Docs. I think has spreadsheets, and that's going to do essentially the same thing. Actually, probably faster because I had to enter all these one by one. <laughs> I find this pretty damn simple, and uh, this is how I'm going to organize my movies. Like I said, you can buy this on Amazon for thirty bucks. Yes, I'm going to have to buy ten more of these. <laughs> So it's not a particularly cheap option, but it will save you a shitload of room. 
This was my review of the Case Logic DVB 200. I'll show you the complete collection when I get all 10 of these done. Until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.